Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Transport Fever. So I've been going through our list here, and some of our, you know, positive things, you know, our TPTGV line, for example, is making us 32 million. Our ring fuel line is making 24 million. Um, the lorries moving plastic is making us 13 million. I mean, that's extraordinary. That's brilliant. On the other end of the scale, however, we're losing, you know, I these two, we've only just set up, so it's understandable they're losing money. This one, however, has been running for 48 years, and it's still losing us money, and it's consistently lost us money. Now, don't get me wrong, the goods line is making money in sort of moving stuff around, like, you know, we've just said, the plastic line is making 14 million. So that's cancelling out, you know, the loss. But wouldn't it be good if both could make a profit? You know, even if this thing broke even, that would mean we're up by 14 million. So I want to try and change this goods line. And we're going to go through all of these, or a lot of these, and see where we can make changes and what changes we can make to make it more productive and, you know, earn us more money. Because I'm sick of not making money. I want to make money. So, with this line, we're currently using the most expensive Class 103s. Well, that right there can change instantly. Now, these have 18 carriages on them. So, we are going to go with the cheapest chips, Class 246. Um, I say cheapest chips. I mean, the running costs are under a million. You know, the running costs of these are 2.6 million. Although, you know what? I could go with those. Yeah, you know what? We are going to change this completely. Now, this is the goods line. So, I want to set these to goods only. So 15. So we're going to have 15 of them on there, which are goods only. And we are going to say replace now. Boom. So that's going to change all of those. Now that's going to move less goods. But we can afford to have a new one. So we're going to go with goods. And we can put this extra train on the line because obviously we're spending less. Um, so ring goods. There you are. So that train is going to be added to the line. And then hopefully, you know, that will start taking or start losing less money, you know? But we'll have to uh, check back and see if it stops losing money, you know? So we're gonna move on to the next one and see what happens. So I'm gonna pause because obviously otherwise everything's jumping in the list and we will never find where we're actually looking. Sorry about that guys, just had to pause for a moment. Uh, now our next line that is losing money is, where are we? Uh, so we've got the snake fuel, the snake goods, ring goods, stone ring, snake food. Again, snake food, not really surprising considering it's not really been running very long. Aeroplanes, hey. This is something I wasn't looking forward to. Um, I know full well that the planes aren't making money. Um, like. Badly not making money. But I'm not sure how to fix it. I mean... Don't get me wrong. I, I do want the airports and stuff. But I just... I can't see how to fix this. You know, I've set it up so it's four points and stuff like that. And it's just... No one seems to want to travel. Then again, it might be because I am... I'm sort of competing 
with the TGV a lot. So that might be something. It might be time to take one of these airports out so that I'm not competing with the TGV. Because that might up traffic to the other three airports. Yeah. But which one would I take out? I mean, it's got to be one of these two stops. I think, to be honest, this one is going to get more traffic because it's got... The Snake Line connects more cities up together, so more people are likely to get on the Snake Line to get to the airport. But then again, you could just take the Snake Line down to here and jump off, which would be quicker. Well, I say it would be quicker. Actually, no, because anyone... If you got off this airport, you'd have to get the train up to here and then go around this entire area to get to the TGV to move across there. Mm -hmm. But then again, if you got the airport to the other place, turned up here, TGV down, oh, I don't know. You know what, I am just going to go for this, get rid of this one. So remove that stop, delete that stop, you know, wait for that aeroplane to take off, then I will just delete that airport and hope that it's the right thing to do. It probably isn't. Seriously, are you trains not actually going to pull into a station anytime soon to get swapped over? Oh, there we go. And you? Oh, yeah, there you go. Wonderful. Come on, take off already. There you go. Isn't hard, is it? Right, bye now. Okay. And once again, this thing is just moving ridiculously quickly. But, see, the other thing now is I don't really need that. Although, I might keep it because that is still servicing, like, all these houses that have been built up at this point. So, yeah, I suppose I can keep it so anyone from there that wants a bus down to here can manage it. Unless it's on my list of really inexpensive, or really expensive stuff. So we've got the snake fuel, snake goods, ring goods, which we've just changed. So actually we will keep that up there and watch the finances for this year and see if it makes any sort of difference. I'm hoping it does. Although the difference it seems to be making at the moment is uh, building up a lot more of those. Although, yeah, that's the goods train right there. So that's going to pick up most of those, if not all of those. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Auto change when at 100%. And leave me alone. So how much of that 195 do you pick up? Almost a full load. Like one off a full load. That's amazing. Okay, so our uh, aeroplanes. So hopefully by removing that one station, or one airport, it will, it won't now be competing with the TGV. Um, though I mean it wasn't competing on this side anyway with the TGV, but we'll see what happens. We'll leave it like that at the moment if it starts making more money, hooray, and if it starts losing money again, or continuing to lose money, we'll have a look at it then. Um, yeah, in fact, again, we'll keep you up just in the corner. 
so that I can see because I mean look it was making some losing well actually it's always been losing money but it there were periods where it was making a little bit more right RC building are you the line that we've just put in uh, no you are the uh, the ring building line okay so you're losing money as well so you've got the cheapest train okay well that might actually start making some money because I'm going to be supplying more building materials so it can spread more of its load around each of the four cities so hopefully that will make a little bit more money um, the rest of these are moving into sort of not really unprofitable it was only the ones that were making like you know above five six million losses that I'm really concerned about getting rid of and replacing go away yeah because I mean making a million loss oh well you know the lines that that is using or like the lines that are delivering to that million loss are probably making 10 million so I don't care But yeah, as I say, I mean, that was losing 10 million, 10 million, 11, 11, 14. So as long as, as long as it doesn't lose as much money, I'll be happier. Look at some of these, some of these lines are 87 years old. My God. I hope you don't mean the vehicles on it. Oh, it does mean the vehicles on it. Oh my God, really? Auto replace. Just, just replace them all. Like now. Why did I have 87 year old buses and stuff still running around? Like, what? Okay, these must be the ones that I've missed here and there when they show up. Wow, okay. Oops. Didn't mean for that to happen. That may, might be one of the other reasons they're losing so much money. The maintenance cost on these vehicles is ridiculous. Yeah, look, a few years back we were making money. <laughs> oh dear. Then again, the planes. Oh my god, the planes. Oh no, the planes can go much, much older than they are. And it's not really increased the costs much. You're set to replace with a Concord. Yeah, no, thank you. I think the lowest cost vehicle should be the one it's set to replace with, even though I'm not actually turning auto replace on for it yet. Okay, mainline six. Okay, well they're not actually in need of replacement yet. So yeah, at this point, you know, age of 40 odd, that that's fine. I and mean, how old can these trains become? Uh, 50. Okay. So yeah, I don't really have to worry about the age of any of the vehicles now. But, yeah, as I say, we've managed to get some things hopefully by changing these they'll become a little bit more profitable again if they don't well yeah whoops I mean look at that you know it lost 10 million that year it's losing 5.9 the previous year to us now we're at 5 million lost this year so that might actually be a good thing if I cut the cost in half and that seems to have reduced its cost by four million a year so if we get the same result this year then you know we've made progress we've not finished but we've made progress are you managing to clear out that station when you turn up there's 120 131 waiting and there is the train to pick it up 
So yeah, in that sense, we are picking up for loads every time. Wonderful. Even with the slower train. See, it doesn't really matter how quickly you move the materials from one point to the next. What really matters is how consistently you move them. So if your train picks up 10 a time and you've got 50 trains on, constantly picking up 10, and your station never has more than 10, you're doing better than if you know your station fills up with 400 and you move 400 infrequently, but you know it stalls production constantly. So, but yeah, as I say, that's taking care of all of the goods. Literally filled the train up, awesome. Might need a fifth train on there, I don't know yet. We'll find out. Oh you, oh, you made a bigger loss this year. Oh, I don't know. I might just get rid of airports completely. I've never made an airport profitable. It's driving me up the wall. But I've never managed to make an airport profitable. TGV line, though, is making 41 million at this point. Probably because we've removed one of the other ways that people could travel. <laughs> What I might do is upgrade the TGVs to their larger counterparts. Because at the moment we are using the standard length, I believe. Yeah. I think we should go with the long. Or is that what we already had? I don't know, you know. Six carriages, two fronts, two back. And what? A 226. That makes no real sense. I have no idea how to tell if it's the long version or the normal version on this TGV line. Um, let's have a look. It fills most of the station up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's got two that are slightly different where they connect to the engines and then six normal coaches in the middle. Okay, that sort of makes sense. Okay, so replacement. So what do you have? You'd have... I, I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I've got the TGVs currently. So I want to change them to TGV long. I am going to follow one of these trains and replace all and yeah that train just got longer so yeah we were using the normal TGVs now we're using the long TGV so we can get more passengers in each direction the train does speed up a lot slower though so it will affect our travel time, but if it adversely affects the TGV too much, I will add another two TGVs, for example, you know? I was just checking if changing the um, speed would affect my FPS, but no, not a great deal. It added a couple but not really worth it. Uh, all good fun. But yeah, as I say, so hopefully with the trains being a little longer now, they can pick up many, many more passengers. I say many more. Can we managed to clear the station? Almost. Okay, so we're almost clearing the stations now. Which is 
better than it was, so I ain't complaining. This airport is still not picking up any passengers. You know what? I I've had enough. <laughs> if it ain't making money, I am getting rid of it. Because the planes and that aren't really working with anything else to make money. So it's not like destroying a production line or something like that. So yeah, I don't mind just wiping it out. Just like, yeah, you're not making money, buy then. So we're moving from here, just up to here at the moment. And let's see if that changes anything. So, you know, anyone that wants to move across the top of the map will use the TGV. Anyone that moves across the bottom of the map will use the planes. And anyone travelling in between will use the myriad of connections that we've got. And hopefully, hopefully, that will uh, work. Let's sell these trucks. I really hate how the whole thing jumps when you sell stuff. It's just like, can you stay still? Just let me sell it. A bit like the trains, just... I'm gonna keep one mallard. I'm gonna keep one... Scotsman. And I've got one of you. Now eventually I'm going to have to try and get all of these into one depot. Which is going to be fun, let me tell you. I'm also going to have to decide where I'm going to put that one depot. I mean, I eventually want them like all pulled into a station somewhere. As like, you know, hey look at this little museum station. Which I think would be nice. How to get them there is the real question, of course. Uh, turn demolish off before I do something wholly uh, destructive by mistake. Your frequency has gone to four minutes. Wasn't it four minutes going around the whole system? So I've cut two stations off the system and you're going at the same speed. Seems a little odd, but okay. Never mind. We don't often see the map with all of the lines everywhere. It's quite colourful sometimes. <laughs> and then you just see something like this and realise just how badly your transport system isn't covering the city anymore. I and mean, that's how big this city used to be. Now look at it. All those potential people wanting a bus and I'm not helping them. Although, wow, some of these bus stations are building up, aren't they? Ooh. And this has two routes going in both directions now. So it is RP. two lights. So the passengers that are waiting there are for the normal line, the passengers that are waiting there are for the reverse line. So that tells me both lines need more buses. And are they equal currently? No, the normal line needs one more bus to be equal. Okay. So we're going to add six of them to the first line. We're going to add five of them to the second line. And 
with that, hopefully, clear the passengers out. I know five buses isn't a massive amount, but you know, hopefully it'll do something. Not a lot of passengers waiting at bus stops elsewhere. Oh, there's a few waiting here though, isn't there? It is clearing out some of them. Kind of a long route. Oh, lots of buses on that route as well. Is it making money? No, massive loss. Well, I say massive. It's making a loss. Then again, it's helping the snake line, which is making a profit. You go away, you open up. How are you doing? So after a few years of not making a profit, mostly because I was blocking the line a lot, last, uh, in the year 2042, you made s nearly seven million, made nearly 12 million, lost money again, and this year you're losing money. I wonder why. Why aren't you making money anymore? Um, what is far easier with this menu. Name. There you are. Okay, you are making money. Oh, of course, it was that one particular train that wasn't making. No, I did open the line. So, why is it telling me? I am, I'm not, I am, I'm not. My God. Okay, well, we will have to keep an eye on a few things. How are you doing now? You've got a lot of fuel waiting. An awful lot of fuel waiting, in fact. I think I'm going to need to add more fuel trains because there's one that's just left and it's already got that much fuel waiting yeah something needs to change there okay right so you have got 18 carriages on you and you're that red train so one of you No, no, no. Fuel. Eighteen. There we go. Of course, what I didn't do is change the colour of the train, but never mind. Uh, so you are snake fuel. There we go. I don't know why I'm changing all of the uh, oil trains black, but it's fun. Right, you're not making money. I will have to look at it again. I'm not losing as much money now, but it's not making money. Which, annoying. But again, the more I decrease the loss, the more profit I do make on the other lines that are supporting it. So it's not a total loss, it's just not as big a gain as I was hoping. One more. Come on. There we go. I'll open you because otherwise I'll lose it, never find it again, and then I'll have ridiculously old vehicles again. Place automatic on. 
Oh, we've slowed down a food line, uh, a food train. Hang on. Oh, that's a goods train. Okay, that's fine. It looked so much similar to that because it is literally the same type of train, basically. Just a different engine at the front. I thought, oh god, is it? Has it moved one of these over there now for some stupid reason? But no, it hadn't, thankfully. Wasn't completely stupid. Oh, it's slowing that train down at the moment because that one keeps stopping it. Okay. Well, that's fine. I have just added them. Eventually they will split up a little bit more. Right, are you full? Not really. So why is there fuel left? Why aren't you taking a full load? What about you? Are you going to pick up a full load? No. But then that's because it's taken everything there was. Okay. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it off, guys. If you've got any hints, tips, or anything you want to say, let me know in the comments below. And please check me out on Patreon. Um, any support you can give me helps me and my channel. And I shall see you next time.